hundreds of extras. Um, we had to import I'm gonna, cars, I'm gonna, I'm American cars. I'm going to fire Cooper to throw that. Uh, <laughs> that was, I'm not recover from that. That was a scene that was cut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The There's most a few more. The most expensive it's, scene that yeah. we shot on the yeah. whole movie. Yeah. I just found out he cut it. No, it was not in the you movie. you think I'd know, but I didn't. Why, no. did, why, why was it cut? You know, I sort of knew I didn't need it on the day, but I was like, let's just do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to have things you can cut right, yeah. and you pretend that you want to keep them in the movie. It's all horse trading, so that then when they want to cut something that you like, you can be like, I gave you that, I gave you that street scene that I love so much, and uh, they never wanted it. That's not true. <laughs> oh. okay. um, <laughs> all right, we're uh, getting into it now. Okay. Get serious. Um, okay, I, I want to speak quickly about Elizabeth Moss because she is so good. I just want to know what she brings to this role because I mean, obviously, you know, it's an incredible role already written on paper, but she just brings something. She elevates any material that she's in. Yeah, I think she does. I mean, she had been in Us, uh, a film with Jason, and she had a supporting role in that, but she stands out. I, when I saw Us in the theatres, it was right when I was thinking about when, when, when Lizzie's name had been brought up as a lead for this. And she just stands out. She, she's subtle, but she, she has a truthfulness about her that you buy into. Um, and I think that's what she can bring. Horror films sometimes, it has been said in the past, can slide into camp. It can get a bit uh, over the top and kind of histrionic, but um, Elizabeth never does that. She's so grounded. I, I love the fact that it felt really sort of believable. I was wondering about how much went into the scientific aspects of, of the invisible man in this instance. Well, I'll tell you this, <laughs> after two films with Upgrade, I need to go into the tech business and forget about this movie stuff yeah. because I've imagined and thought up two things that have then become a real thing, that the chip in the neck that cures paralysis in Upgrade, Elon Musk is developing it, it's a real thing, I could be a billionaire. You should copyright well, that. But is anyone developing an invisible suit? I don't know. Have you, why do you Are say we... two things? Well, maybe. I guess like, I, I don't want to spoil anything. There, there, I, I, met, I met with a bunch of scientists, myself and the production designer, Alex Holm, met with these guys in Sydney, op optics guys, at Sydney University, and we asked them if our idea for invisibility was feasible, and, and they said yes. How? I can't discuss it here. It's, okay, I'm it's going through the whole secret. patent process. I'm going to sell it to the okay. military, to the I, highest bidder. I just can't wait to use it. I'm going to I'm going to play one country off against the other. It's going to be masterful. <laughs> Russia, America, North Korea. I'll sell them. I'll sell them whatever it you takes. Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, Jason, you've sort of created such a sort of dynasty with 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 your production company. I mean, what, what makes a great story for you? What is it that makes that makes a story worth telling? A great story um, is a story that is um, that really. I always say to our filmmakers, if you take away the scares or the genre of it, is there a great independent movie there? Is there a, a first, second, and third act a story, characters that you care about, performance that you love? And is it suspenseful? Do you want to know what happens next? I really think that's what makes a great story, and that's and a, and what makes a great st scary movie is a great story. Because also, I feel like that when I was growing up, it felt horror movies sat in a kind of B movie genre. They didn't always have to look great, but your films look great. They, they, they the aesthetic is always so impressive, and they look like they're big budget kind of high sort of concept movies. It shows that horror movies can look the part as well, don't they? They don't have to fall into the kind of yeah, the B movie I think, trappings. I, I think so, depending on the filmmaker. Yeah, some filmmakers that's super important. Some filmmakers, other things are more important. But um, but I don't think horror movies. I think I think horror movies should look. Hitchcock movies looked amazing. And at least, do you think Night's movies are night. Mm -hmm. Night yeah. is an amazing uh, composition. Um, and Lee's movies, I think Lee has a, a signature to his, the three movies that he's directed. There's a real um, voice behind, a directing voice behind those three movies. And you're doing Escape from New York, is that right? Um, I'm not sure, actually. Oh. I've been so busy making this film. Um, I think that was a case of a press release going out before it's time. <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes. You're like, oh, I didn't really want that out there. Um, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's a, it's a different deal. I feel like with The Invisible Man, there was a lot of freedom there, whereas when you're dealing with something, as Jason knows, doing Halloween, when you're dealing with something that's more recent and it's part of people's childhoods, you need to be very careful. So I would, I don't, I would only do that if I felt like I had a take on it that was super respectful to the original. Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for the time, guys. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys!
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!